Oh, happy day, Clashers. So today we have a special minor bowler attack. This is a different uh, strategy. I know you've seen this attack, but executed a little bit differently. And I really like this execution. And so it really works on this max Town Hall 11 base. Now, of course, the walls aren't max, but everything else is. Uh, the Archer Towers uh, and the Warden, all that good stuff. So what are you going to do here? Obviously, you don't want to come from the south. That's way too many hit points. So he is going to come from the east here, northeast, and drops the Golem and look what he does. He puts the miners down first and then waits on the bowlers just a little bit. Usually, I, with these bowler miner attacks, you go bowler then miner kind of for the cleanup. I like this strategy and it actually proved very nicely done. Now, I know this is not the greatest base design. Still, the combination of the minor bowlers, because those miners really distract the units and keeping the bowlers up longer. It does seem like a better strategy, I think, because see the bowlers, if they have a lot of tanking in front of them, once they're under rage, they will destroy a base. And as you can tell, Yes, he lost most of his miners towards the end of the raid, but look at this. All those bowlers are still alive. Look how many there in the southern compartment and even some even further south. He's got his king and queen still alive. No healers on the map. And look at this. He's got three loons for the back end um, just in case um, any structures. He, uh, he could have already dropped them now if he wanted, but he was like, you know, this raid is over. I don't even need to drop them. Over she wrote, amazing three star from Helmy. Anyways, I am gonna try this out on a Town Hall 10. I think this will go well in the Town Hall 10 and seeing it work um, using the minor bowler strategy. I'm gonna bring you a video and see if that's a better thing. Usually, again, you go bowler minor. Anyways, thought I'd just bring that to you. I know very quick attack, um, and I don't have another one to share with you of the minor bowler strategy, but I will share his other attack, Helmy's second attack. Uh, and this one was for, I think, a two-star. Uh, now, this, again, he didn't do the uh, the minor bowler. He did a queen walk minor, which on this base, actually, it's really the wrong troop composition. So this is a, actually mass bowler would have been great on this attack. Or, another again, the minor bowler strategy. Why? Well, look at everything clumped in the middle. This is a bad base design. Don't have this for Town Hall 11. All the, those units clumped in the center there, the bowlers will just destroy everything under rage. Those Inferno Towers will be dropped to the ground immediately. And so this attack just kind of went south, honestly, um, because of the wrong troop composition. Um, those wall breakers did fail at the beginning, unfortunate. So he is going to lose, I think, those healers to that air defense. I think they're going to be within range, so not good there. Uh, but even, uh, again, it's just understanding the proper troops to bring, and that's really hard to do. You know, it's I'd, I've made mistakes, like I shouldn't have brought Valks, or I should have bought this instead. So I have to get better at asking my own clanmates for help. Um, I encourage y'all to as well. You know, clanmates really help and help you see a base differently than you see it yourself. So on a base like this, I would be like, you know what? Uh, bring all bowlers. You don't need as many miners or do the minor bowler strategy, which is really powerful. You don't need those healers. The healers really lost because look, they are taken out by that air defense right now. But even if they had stayed alive, it would have been a fail and not the three star. Anyways, there you go. Uh, a couple attacks from Helmy. So, guys, again, thanks for watching and um, uh, we'll see you next time. And as always, my friends, Halo.